everyone. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I will demonstrate to you my weekly co-wash and deep conditioning routine. Right now you are looking at an old braid out. I am going to do a tutorial on this look and upload it soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get started. The products that I am going to use today are Tresemme Naturals, Shea Moisture Lines, um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Line, their um, leave-in conditioner and their deep penetrating mask. All right, so I've already did the one wash right now. And for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you how I detangle. Normally I do this in the shower, but I am going to do it for you right here in front of the camera. So I go ahead and section off in two sections. And as I said, I'm going to use Tresemme Naturals and I'm going to show you how I uh, detangle and get the shed hair out of my um, hair. And I use about this much and I'm pretty heavy hand, but this um, product is really good with slip. So I like to um, be very generous with it. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. I get this at um, grocery store, CVS, uh, Walgreens for about uh, four to five dollars. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I detangle and get the shed hair out of my hair. And as you can see, I do finger detangle. You can definitely use a wide tooth comb, but I prefer to detangle with my fingers because I can feel the knots and the tangles easier with my fingers. And I start from the bottom and I work my way up to the top. And as you can see, not that much yet here. You should lose about 150 shed hair per day. That is not abnormal. Then I go ahead and twist up the section so it will remain detangled while I do this other section. And I just repeat the step. Detangling from bottom to top. I add more because it is not enough. As I said, I'm very heavy hand with my product. I'll go ahead and section this section I go ahead and twist that up and I jump in the shower I like to rinse my hair while it is still twisted up because it keeps the curls un it keeps the curls undamaged right now I'm going to go ahead and put in the strengthen and grow and restore treatment mask from Shea Moisture. Do one section at a time. And I use a generous amount. I'm pretty heavy handed with this one also. And it smells very good. Yeah. 
go ahead and speed that up for you. Now, when you're applying your deep condition, you definitely want to make sure you are applying it all over your head, making sure that each strand is saturated because you want to make sure that the product is all over the hair so it can do exactly what it needs to do. Show you the back a little. All right, now I like to seal my hair with an oil. The oil that I use is coconut oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, and olive oil. And sometimes I will use a, a coconut oil. And I believe this one did have a coconut oil. I'll go ahead and put a plastic cap over my head. And I actually use two plastic caps because I am not going to sit up under a dryer this time. I'm just going to allow my body heat to let it do its thing and heat up my hair naturally. Alright, I went on ahead and rinsed in the shower. Like I said, normally I do all of this in the shower. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Strengthening, Grow, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner from Shea Moisture. And I section in two sections, clip one side off, and I go ahead and apply the product to my hair. And I do use a generous amount, as you can see. I speed that up for you. And yet, that smells good too. Now you can use any conditioners that you like. Just make sure they are silicone free conditioners. And everything that I use is silicone free. And I do not use shampoos because of the sulfate and the sulfate is just too harsh for me. All right, well, that is it. Hope you enjoy, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Have a great one.